What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited because we are going to be doing a full face of first impressions. So much new stuff has dropped recently and I am so excited. My desk has been like piling up with new stuff that I want to try for you guys. Whenever I get something like really exciting that I want to test out, I just throw it on this desk and I was like, okay, it's about to actually overflow at this point. So we have to film the first impressions today. I am super excited. We have like a mix of drugstore stuff and then also high end stuff as well. So we are going to test everything out today, do a full face first impressions. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You guys know, if you watch my channel, we start every one of these videos by pinning our hair out of our face. I don't know how these other beauty gurus be doing their videos with their hair hanging in their face, all cute and stuff. I cannot. I need to get it out of my face at all costs. <laughs> All right, so now that I look like I'm on Little House in the Prairie or something, uh, we're gonna get started. The first product I'm very, very excited. This is from Tarte and it's new. This is their, oh, I didn't even realize this was part of the Shape Tape line. So this is part of the Shape Tape line and this is the Pore and Prime Balm. So a lot of people are saying that this is supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Cream Canvas, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's a really popular primer from Tatcha. It does have a little applicator on the bottom here. I don't think I'm gonna use that. I think I'm just gonna use my hand. Um, but the primer from Tatcha is really popular, but it's very pricey. This one is definitely cheaper. Let me look it up. Because it's weird to have like Tarte be a dupe for something because Tarte is like a high-end brand in and of itself. But let's look it up. Okay, so the Tatcha primer is $52. That's expensive. Um, the Shape Tape, this primer from Tarte is, I want to say it was like $25, but I just want to make sure that I have the right, yeah, $25. And I think it's an Ulta exclusive. So literally less than half the price. So we're gonna try this out and see. I'm just gonna put my finger in it. Ooh, it feels really cool. It feels like a bomb. I can't say whether or not this is actually, oh, it feels very nice on the skin. I can't say whether or not this is actually a um, dupe for the Tatcha primer because I've never tried it. And honestly, love Tatcha, love their skincare. I wouldn't spend $52 on a primer. I would spend $52 on skincare and you know, something that I'm gonna kind of leave on my skin, but primer to me is still makeup and I hate spending like really high amounts like that on makeup, I don't know. This actually feels very, very nice on my skin, I will say that. Let me get an up close mirror. It definitely actually looks like it did fill in my pores, which is really, really nice. Like I can visually tell a difference up close, so I do really like that. And it just glided on my skin really, really easily, but it doesn't feel like oily on my fingers or anything. So this is pretty cool, I do really like that. Up next for foundation, I'm super excited. So we are gonna be testing out the Natasha Denona um, foundation. I don't know if this is her first foundation, but this is the first foundation that I have ever tried from Natasha Denona. I've only personally really tried her eyeshadow palettes. So this is the transfer matte instead of transformative I think or whatever they said transfer matte um, so it's supposed to be pore vanishing and it's a matte foundation I'm hoping that it's not too too drying because I do have dry skin but as long as it's not drying I'm down with matte foundations I have three shades right here I believe in total it has 35 shades in the range which is really great I think I'm gonna go with 42 NY medium this is the lightest of the mediums that I have and then if I need to I will go in with a darker one so it has a little pump this is not my favorite kind of applicator for foundation I've told you guys that before I'm not crazy about these pumps especially from like a high-end brand I don't know Ooh, okay. Liquidy. I don't know what I was expecting, but it kind of like squirted out of there. It is very, very liquidy. But that actually gives me hope that it's not going to be super drying because it's not like super thick. All right, so that was three little squirts. Not a ton comes out when you squirt it. So I did do three. Where is my beauty blender? Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and start blending this out with my beauty blender and seeing how it is. Oh my God, my beauty blender is not dampened. Okay. <laughs> I want to blend this out and like not take too long so I'm just gonna use some fix plus and kind of dampen my beauty blender with it Oh, what a rookie rookie mistake continue blending. Okay. That's actually okay Works the same. Okay, so just blending this out I was pleased to see that this foundation is only $45 and by only I mean that's still pricey but like Natasha Denona is known for having a very very expensive um, eyeshadow palettes like her eyeshadow palettes are like 200 bucks so I was nervous that the foundation was gonna be like $80 or something um, but it's $45 which is pretty on par with a lot of higher-end brands like most higher-end brands are like between 35 and $50 for foundation I would say so it kind of falls right in the middle um, so it is not like crazy pricey um, so that is the three pumps blended out it did blend out easily but um, it is not full coverage at all it's definitely I don't even know if I'd call it medium coverage. I feel like it's really, really light. I want to try and look up what it claims to be. Okay, so it actually says in the Sephora website that it's supposed to be full coverage. I don't see that. 
uh, at all. What I am going to do is I'm going to go actually wet this beauty blender and then we'll do another layer and see how that works, like if we can build it up to full. All right, I have my beauty blender properly dampened now. I'm gonna go in with more of this foundation. It actually does stay on the back shake before using, so I am gonna shake it. I didn't shake it the first time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in with some more of this. This shade looks okay though, so I am gonna keep using the same shade. And I'm gonna go in with three more pumps. So in total, I will be using six pumps on my face, which sounds kind of crazy, <laughs> but they're not like really that much product coming out in each pump. And I'm just going to blend that out. It does blend out very easily. So I'll definitely give it that. And it is definitely building up coverage. Like we're starting to cover up the redness and stuff in my skin now. Which is nice. Okay, now I can definitely see like where they get full coverage from. It definitely did build up to be full coverage now, I would say, but again, like I did use six pumps, that's a lot. And as I said before, it doesn't give you a ton of product, so maybe it was like more like three to four pumps, really, of like a regular foundation pumper, I guess. Um, of product that I used, but from like a higher end brand, like it's not a cheap foundation, I don't know. I feel like if I'm paying $45 for something, I wanna make sure that it's like full coverage in like two pumps so I don't use it that quickly. Oh, but it does look really nice. I will give it that. Definitely leaves the skin matte and like flawless looking, so I do actually really like that about it. I just don't like that I had to use so much of it to get the kind of coverage that I wanted, but this is definitely full coverage. So we'll see how this wears throughout the day and I'll update the description box with that. I don't love it, but I definitely don't think it's bad. Up next for concealer, I have a bunch from Huda Beauty. These are the Overachiever concealers. These are supposed to be super full coverage as well. Um, so I'm gonna try this out today. I'm just gonna try and find a shade I think that will work. I'm gonna use meringue. I think right now this is 04N. This looks like yellow base, which I typically like for underneath my eyes. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that it had this sort of applicator. That's nice. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze them out and apply. Oh, wow. This applicator feels really nice. Like it feels so cooling. And this concealer looks like water. It has such a glistening like look to it. So I'm interested to see how this works on the under eyes. I think I put way too much on. I'm like scooping it back on this thing. All right, that is kind of a lot. So I am not gonna go with any more around my face. I'm gonna try and like dab some off and I'm gonna bring it where I normally would add more. Concern. Oh my God, wait, this is really full coverage. Holy crap. Oh. It smells really good too. It smells like rose, so I think their under eye like setting powder smell like this too. A lot of her products are very scented, which doesn't actually bother me, but I know um, some people don't like that. But it smells beautiful, just like roses, okay. This is like, okay, oh my god, this is so full coverage. <laughs> I definitely used too much, but we we're just gonna blend it out and work with it, but honey, we are covering everything. <laughs> This shade is also a little bit on the light side, but I do like to have a like highlighted and brightened under guy. You guys know that if you watch my channel. And this is giving it to me for sure. Okay, so I blended it all out and this concealer is really, really nice. I feel like my face looks really white right now, but once we add in like bronzers and stuff later, we'll make it all match. But this concealer is very, very pigmented, is very full coverage. You do not need to use as much as I used at all. Um, I really liked the applicator. It felt really nice. And I mean, I feel like it looks really good and definitely covered up like dark circles that I had. So um, I'll definitely see how it lasts, like if it creases or not. Update the description box with that. But so far... I really like it. To set that, I want to go in with this. So this is the MAC Patrick Star Patrick's Powder. So I know people like love this. And like I know it was sold out for a really long time and then they brought it back and stuff with the holiday collection. So I wasn't sure if it was still available, um, but it is. I checked today and it is still available to be bought. So I figured that I would test this out because I haven't tried it yet. Um, and I know people like love this. And Patrick Star like always bakes. So I was like, okay, I'll test it out. So I'm going to take this off. It's weird because normally with these sort of powders, I like tap it into the cap, but this cap is so deep that like I don't know where to, <laughs> where to put it. I'm like, uh, I'll just, I'll tap it into the cap and see. <laughs> okay, so I have that much in there. I'm gonna go in with a little sponge and apply the, my under eyes. Patrick always bakes, so I figured we would bake. I don't normally bake, honestly, like maybe once a month I'll do it if I'm really feeling extra. So today's today's my once a month quota. I don't know who I think I am today with a matte foundation baking my under eyes. Like, 
Dry skin who? All right, so I officially look crazy. Uh, I'm gonna let that set on my under eyes while we do the brows and then I'll wipe away the excess. It does not feel drying, at least right now, which is nice, so I am liking that. For the brows, I am so excited. Urban Decay dropped a lot of new brow products. Um, so today I'm gonna be using the Brow Blade. This is brand new from them. I have it in a couple shades here. I have Brown Sugar, Brunette Betty, and Taupe Trap. So let's swatch these. So basically what these are is on one side there's like a regular pencil and then on the other side there's like this little like stain that you can like use in the front of your brow or like basically however you want. So I'm very excited. It's a cool concept. So this is the taupe shade. This is probably, probably a little light. I normally go just a smidge darker. This one's brown sugar. Brown sugar is right here. And then we also have brunette Betty. This one is brunette Betty. That one's definitely the deepest, but that's probably too dark for me. So I'm gonna go in with the second one. One thing about having the ink stain, which is like kind of a new addition, is that there isn't a spoolie. I'm so used to brow products having spoolies that I don't normally like have them laying around, but I got one. So I'm just gonna spoolie my brows in place real quick. And then we are gonna go in. I'm gonna start with the regular pencil side. Sorry if I like am holding this up, but I, I have to be able to see what I'm doing. Maybe I should zoom you guys in. I should zoom you guys in. All right, so now we are up close and personal. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Gonna go in and define out the bottom of my brow first. This is actually really buttery, which is nice. Like it's gliding nice. This shade is also really, really good. Like it's not too dark but it's also not too light because finding the right brow shade for blondes can be very difficult and it just broke off so i used a little too much pressure so don't do that but i actually think this looks really really nice i left the front of my brows like with nothing on them i want to test out this little guy i don't know like exactly how to do it but i'm just gonna make little strokes with it does that look good this is actually really cool. I might actually go in and do it throughout my whole brow. Just very, very lightly. Little strokes to make it seem like I have more brow hair than I actually do. I actually really love this. Wow. I feel like my brow looks really good. I didn't even carve it out with concealer, like nothing. I love this dual ended. This, this makes all the difference, I think, like in the front. Like adding in those little strokes is really really nice so I'm just gonna go and finish my other brow do the exact same thing on this side okay a little piece of it just broke off again in my hand I don't know if I'm like pressing too hard but I don't normally have this problem with brow products where it like breaks while I'm using it um so just definitely go gentle with it like I'm going extra gentle now to make sure that doesn't happen but aside from that I really like it all right, so I'm gonna dust away the excess Patrick's powder. My under eyes still don't feel dry, which is actually very, very nice. So I guess I believe in the hype of the powder because normally if I bake, my under eyes do feel tight and dry. So I do definitely really like that. All right, so now that we have that done, I am so excited. We are gonna go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Collection with Casey Holmes. So I love Casey. She was one of the first YouTubers I ever watched. So I was really excited to see her collab with an affordable brand like Physician, Physicians, can I speak, Formula. Um, I actually haven't tried that much Physicians Formula makeup or product, so I am really, really excited to try this. Okay, so inside of the box, you're gonna get a bronzer, a blush, a highlighter, four different eyeshadows, a lip balm, and then a little perfume. So I wanna smell the perfume. I'm like intrigued. I feel like that's not normally in like influencer collections, so I wanna smell this. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually really, really nice. It smells very like Islandy, like it reminds me of an island, like very tropical. I like this, super nice, very good for summer or vacation. And then as far as the rest of the collection, I'm definitely gonna test out the lip. I'm gonna use the eyeshadows. I don't think I'm gonna use the face products today because I have a different face palette that I wanna test out. I really wanna try the Khloe Kardashian and Malika uh, Becca face palettes, but I will insert swatches of these right here so you guys can see them um, if you're interested. But we are going to jump in with the eyeshadows right now. So I'm first gonna go in with no filter right here. So I am gonna jump in with that on my crease. Oh my goodness, okay. This is pigmented. <laughs> and went a little bit everywhere. You don't need that much of it. It is blending out super easily though. Very buttery. I guess that's 
in the name with butter collection. I literally just blended like everything out on this eye with only one dip of this brush. So I'm gonna go in with less on the other eye so I can build it up as I please. Again, like I said, I'm not super familiar with Physicians Formula and like how their products are. So I didn't know if it was gonna be, you know, super pigmented or what. But this eye is easier because <laughs> I'm building it up. Up next, all over the lid, I'm going to go in with Tropic Like It's Hot. This is like a pretty red shade. I'm going to go in with a flat top brush. Ooh, look how pretty this is. And I'm going to pack this all on the lid. I am getting a little bit of fallout with the shades. I will be completely like transparent and honest with you guys, but they are very, very pigmented. So, I mean, it kind of comes with the territory. I'm not mad about it at all. But just something to note. And I am going to go in with a smidge of that shade on a different blender brush and just kind of blend that up into the crease so everything like blends together. We don't have any harsh lines. This look is smoky smoky. That is for sure. Next I'm going to jump in with Do Not Disturb and I'm just going to use this to highlight an inner corner and brow bone area. Okay, now last but not least, we have to use this green. It is so, so pretty. So I'm gonna use it on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna smudge this out down here. I only put the tiniest, tiniest bit on my brush. I didn't want it to go like flying everywhere. Okay, so I want my inner corner to pop a little more. So I'm actually gonna go in with the highlighter in this palette, which is the shade Just Beachy, and pop that. Ooh. Yes, love that. This is very, very pretty. Golden shade. Okay, these eyeshadows worked really, really well. They were hella pigmented, and I really liked the highlighter too. Um, we will test out the lip towards the end. This eye look is not done yet. I really want to test out these. These are new from Huda as well. I've seen these all over Instagram and stuff. So these are like her melted shadows. So on one side, we have a matte, and then one side, we have a metal. So it's like a liquid shadow. So this is like the matte which I'm not gonna use that. That almost looks like a concealer shade, honestly, to me. Um, but the Melted looks so, so pretty. So I'm scared that's gonna counteract so much with the color, though, that I have on my lid. Ooh, this one is good. This is a good, I feel like, match to like what I have on my lid. So this shade is Shimmering Sunset. So I'm gonna go in with this and pop it all over my lid to really like, because the shade that I have now is just matte, so there's no like shimmer or anything to it. All right, so we're gonna go in with this. Oh my God. Very pigmented. I kind of like carve out my eye shape, I guess. With this. I kind of thought this was gonna be more like the Stila, like Magnificent Metals where you still see what's underneath, but this is like legit like an eyeshadow in and of itself. Like I probably could have put it on a bare lid, but I think it looks really pretty with the color underneath it. Like you can see it a little bit, but it's definitely more opaque than the Stila ones are. It seems to be drying pretty quickly too, which is good because you don't want it to like crease up and set weird. All right, this eye look is very beautiful. I like how it's coming out. I don't have a new mascara or anything to try, so I'm just gonna go pop on some lashes real quick and I'll be right back. All right, eyes are all done. I zoomed you guys back out a little bit because we are gonna go on to the face. And I am so excited to be testing some stuff from the Chloe and Malika collection with Becca. I have both of their face palettes right here. So both Chloe and Malika, her best friend, came out with these face palettes. Let me show you guys them. So they each have a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter. So I'm first gonna go in with the stuff in Chloe's. That's this one. The Malika palette is a bit deeper and then this one is a bit lighter. So I'm gonna start with the lighter one on my face. So I'm first gonna go in with the bronzer bronzer and bronze up my cheeks. It's a very subtle bronzer, although it does have like a little bit, not shimmer, but just a little bit of a sheen to it, which is actually really nice. I like that in my bronzers. And we need to add some lifeness back into this face. It is just so like full coverage and matte. It needs something. <laughs> and this is definitely a warm toned bronzer as well. I am going to jump in with the Malika palette and go in with her bronzer right here, which is a bit deeper, and use that to contour my cheeks out. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Next for blush, I'm going to go in with the more bronzy blush. There's like a more rosy one, but I'm going to go in with this one and just pop that on my cheeks. 
everything in this collection is a very very warm tone so if you like more like cool tones this is not this is not gonna be your jam but I like warm tones and I mean, my eye is so warm so it all goes and then last but not least we're gonna go in with the highlight yay I'm so excited gonna go in with the highlighter ooh wow this is really really pretty Ooh, love that what I really like about this is there's like no glitter in this at all like it's just like it's a different kind of texture but it's really really nice because it's still very like blinding and like glistening and you can totally see it but it doesn't have that like chunky glitter in it which is very very beautiful so I actually really really like this formula because I have like a lot of texture right here and it's not overly emphasizing it where like if there was glitter it would just be a hot mess I have like a lot of texture on my face right now thanks to the skin gods uh but yeah, this is very, very beautiful. I like this a lot. And the shade is very flattering on my skin tone as well. I like it. Like, it just makes the skin almost look wet, you know? Which is really nice. There are lippies in this collection, but I did tell you guys that I was going to try out the Casey Holmes lip, so... We will save these for another video. They are really, really pretty. I definitely want to try them. But I already said that I would try this guy, so I will. And a lot of you guys were asking me to review this. So this is a limited edition, and the shade is Pop the Bubbly. I love that. Looks really pretty. So this is a butter lip cream, so it's not going to be, like, crazy pigmented. But this is so pretty. Wow. It feels really nice and light lit still. It's almost, like, frosted, but not in a bad way. Ooh, and this smells really good. Wow, oh, yeah, I actually really like this. This literally smells amazing and feels amazing on my lips. I really, really like this lippy. I feel like it's so creamy and buttery that this would like never last through like a meal or anything. It's almost like a tinted lip balm, but it's really, really beautiful. I think this is really, really nice. All right, you guys, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.